G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. And as you can see, we're not outdoors. We're back at home, indoors at the moment. I'm on call, so I'm gonna show you this. It's the Snug Pack Reliable Dry Storage Keeps Your Gear Dry in the Field, Camping, Boating, etc. It says on the pack. Now I've gone with the 35 litre one, which is the XXL, or yeah, the XX large one, to go in the Matilda backpack. So we've got the Snog Pack and we've got Helicon Tex, and they work great together. So let me go through the specs. It says durable and lightweight nylon fabric with waterproof laminate, waterproof taped seams, roll top waterproof closure, durable buckle secures roll top, D-rings for securing, available in five sizes, available in olive, black and coyote tan. And at the bottom they say we go to the extremes. So this one, the 35 litre, in inches it's 11.5 across. Let's get this for you. And it's very 25 inches in depth. So that is 30 by 64 centimetres. The weight is 4.59 ounces or 130 grams, which is really nothing. So now I will put the box down and get to the actual gear itself. Quality of it, what I've noticed, is very good quality. The stitching all the way down is really good. Let's see if I can get you close enough to see it. So it's no loose threads, and as it says, it's tape sealed on the seams, and there's none where somebody will get you'll see where it's actually coming away. Nothing on this; it's all nice and clean and secured, and you can see the waterproof coating on the shimmer on the inside. The sign shining. The buckles. And they said they were good quality. They were right, they are very good quality. They don't feel, you now you get that brittle plastic feeling, they, they don't feel that, they're quite supple. So, nice, easy close. Not one of these click, where the real nail clicks where you get with the brittle feeling ones. It's quite a soft click. But it's a good, strong, Lock in there, that's not going to come undone. And it looks like the actual D rings, just by the buckles, are the same material. We've got a bit of flex. Uh, these feel softer, the actual buckles, but the D rings, they still feel really nice. And there's your tag saying extra, extra large. And on the inside, it says. 100% 70D nylon WTPU film backing and made in Taiwan. So not too bad. Not like you can really say about one of these just by going through the quality and looking at it. Apart from it all looks really good quality. Now it's not just for a uh, pack liner. If you're looking at the emergencies or bug out bag, one of these would be great because in them emergencies you can actually use it to collect water because it is pretty damn good waterproof. It's not one where you're going to get the seepage coming through. And if you get your pillow, again you can roll it up and you've got a pillow to lay on at night. So it'll make you sleep a lot more comfortable. Now the reason I bought this, because the pack has got a waterproof lining on it, and it's very good waterproof repellency. Is the one reason is the hydration bladder, when you've got it on the inside, there's no pocket. So if for any reason that was to burst, it'd go over all my sleep gear, anything I've got in my pack. So there comes this. So if that does go, it's not gonna get through to my gear. And the fit in here, it fits really well. I'll put it in. I 
I'm trying not to let the pack fall. That's what's taking my time. Okay, that fills the pack as if as if it was made to measure. So that is a big win. As you can see, if the pack's there, hydration blood is behind. So if that was to go, it'd go into the bottom of the pack and out the drain holes. And so let's grab some of my gear. My clothes now. Now this waterproof on the inside isn't very slippery. It's quite sticky. Not sticky as in gravity, it's got good friction to it. So when you put stuff in, you're gonna to have to be moving the bag or the liner around to make sure it fits all the way down. So that's my clothes right at the bottom. Next. Then to one side. Is my sleeping bag. And this is the Snug Pack Jungle Blanket, which I'm testing out at the moment. Yeah. My Snug Pack Special Forces Bivy. My pillow from Sea to Summit. So my sleep mat will go on the outside. So there's some space we've got left in here. Without compressing it is all the way down to this point. So that's about yeah, here. So we've got plenty of the dry bag or the dry liner to be able to roll it. And what they recommend is that you push it down first, get all the air out you can and then roll the top over at least three times to create that waterproof seal. I'll go four. And give it a push down and there you can see. So now if the bladder was to go, <coughs> excuse me, everything in the liner would be nice and dry. And as you can see on here, I've got the row of webbing and if I wanted to, I could always put a carabiner through and through the D-rings and put it there and that'll stop the bag disappearing down to the bottom. So when I'm getting things in and out, it's not going to be coming out so bad and it's not going to disappear. It's going to make it a lot easier. So now I've got the space on top for my wet weather gear. So I could put my rain pants in there, my anorak in there my food bag in there, because that's the Dyneema one, so everything's gonna be protected. So there you are, that's the dry sack from Snug Pack. The extra, extra large fits perfect in the Helicontex Matilda backpack. Just a short video, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have and you're not a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell and click all and then click the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.